In our last video, I introduced uh, computing, uh, doing the 99 bottles of beer song using the method plugin. Uh, I'd like to show you now what uh, realistic data looks like uh, in the Federated Wiki uh, using that same plugin and uh, other facilities that we've shown before. This is this is work that uh, Jamie Ward and myself have done over a, a period of months, and this is uh, related to the uh, uh, environmental properties of uh, uh, materials. So I have a list of materials here. They've been ranked, uh, listed uh, alphabetically or uh, by rank. But let's just uh, uh, pick one and, and take a peek at it here. This is uh, 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 information about how it was acquired, encourages uh, visualizations to examine it. But more importantly, uh, what we're now going to do is duplicate the calculation that Jamie did uh, in uh, a spreadsheet and uh, verify that we get the same numbers. This is the actual data out of the spreadsheet. These are some grand totals uh, for uh, the chemistry section and uh, uh, we're going to go step through how those numbers were arrived at and check them uh, in JavaScript here as we go along. Now, uh, we use a couple of uh, auxiliary tables. This is one that is uh, exposure uh, percentages. We'll see that used. And uh, uh, we'll also dive into this link on uh, why it's uh, particularly organized this way. But let's just look at it first. We, uh, we pick uh, a number of uh, substances that appear uh, in the processing of this material. And for each one, we assess uh, uh, where in the manufacturing process there's exposure, how much exposure there is, and uh, a, the, a, uh, uh, an estimate of the danger of the particular material. This we look up in that exposure percentage, percentages table that I mentioned before. We could take a peek up at that now. Uh, its uh, caption has a hyperlink in it. If I click that, here we go to a, a little summary of what's in the table and more details about where this data came from, the kind of numbers we see. These are uh, takes a, a raw and exposure and produces a percentage. So uh, as we proceed down through here, we'll eventually get to the point where we want to summarize all these different substances that showed up. And uh, when we do that, here we picked a couple of different functions. Uh, here's where we looked up in that table. Finally, we do a product. Uh, you can see that we get the computer resolution there with a lot of nines, but we round that up to 1.5 for display. Then uh, we recall all those substances. Uh, find the minimum here. If I roll over this, it's, it's telling me that I found the minimum of eight numbers, and the minimum was, in fact, zero. That's not a particularly uh, great score for uh, phase one of this particular toxicity. Uh, we might at this point want to say, well, what's really going on here? Where are we going? And this is where we hop into a documentation page that is shared between uh, all of the different materials. This gives an example. We show what it is to uh, perform the calculation. Uh, these, by the way, are editable. Here we can say uh, uh, we first uh, uh, apply the first function to choose the first that appears here of the various uh, process steps. We look that up in this table, which I described, and then we compute a product. That's how the computation works. We could, if we were entering a new number, we could uh, enter these to describe uh, the characteristics of our particular material. Then, uh, so we describe how to, or we perform the computation. Then we uh, explain the computation that we performed, including uh, how we did it with the first and the lookup and the product, and then we have paragraphs where we explain why we do it that way. And this is where usually the, uh, 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 the, the uh, uh, policy of, of uh, the, the business decision making that leads to uh, the way we're rolling up the scientific data comes to bear. Now, uh, if we uh, uh, want to look a little more detail about how this is actually done, we could say, show us more about methods. Here's a discussion about how we use the method plugin. Uh, this is what we uh, uh, kind of getting close to what we showed with the bottles of beer song, and if we can keep clicking, we'll we'll end up uh, down here. And I think what we've shown in all this is that uh, when we're talking about open data, that it uh, that it does ultimately uh, lead to free beer.